one of those days when life's got me down. Where are you now? I'm needing you. You say the right thing, and everything is wonderful. Ooh, ooh. Take all my scars and my broken heart. Promise that you will cover me. Give me your all. Say it's not.
hear a song that makes me laugh and smile and sing to you when I'm with you. I feel so free. I feel that love. You may be seated. Welcome, and thank you for joining us on this joyous occasion. Tonight we celebrate love, we celebrate friendship, we unite a family. We have the distinct pleasure of witnessing two people who are in it forever. Tonight we celebrate your power of love. We celebrate your strength and your bond. Before we begin, I invite you to turn around and take a moment to reflect on all of the beautiful faces that have come to celebrate with you tonight. Know that they're here to love you, to support you, and encourage you as you embark on this incredible journey. Can you all hear me? I don't know what's going on with this mic, so we're just going to put that to the side so it doesn't distract us. The Bible reminds us in Corinthians that if I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all knowledge, and if I have the faith that can move mountains, but not love, I am nothing. So may this ceremony be something full of wonderful memories that you can look back on and treasure for the rest of your days. Let us pray. Eternal and all wise God, we thank you for this moment in time. We thank you for the opportunity to witness love. We thank you for the opportunity to have such beautiful weather to reflect upon love. We thank you for the two that are standing before us today. We ask that you bless their family, bless their friends, bless all that will witness this amazing experience tonight. Let us walk away not being the same, but being compelled to love, but being compelled to cherish one another, but being compelled to know that two people are in it forever. We love you, we honor you, we bless you. We call on all those names that are holy, but it is that name, Jesus, that we seal this prayer. Amen. Amen. We have thousands of moments that happen throughout our lives. 
But the ceremony of marriage is regarded as one so critical that despite all of our differences, love is what we share. Love is that great harmonizer. It's that no matter what you are or who you are or where you come from or what you believe or what you know, love is the thing that we're doing right. That's why you're both standing here this evening. We, all, we have all loved in our lifetime, and it is this moment that we're reminded of the, the ability that love has to culture the very, part, the very best of our humanity. Therefore, I know you're not entering this thoughtlessly. I know that you have carefully and responsibly and with due understanding stand before us today. And you know what you're partaking in, and you know what it takes to see tomorrow, and you know what it's like for those long nights. You know what it means to shed a tear. You know what it means to reflect upon some moment, and you're still standing here today. And so it's with that that we invite you to take a moment and share your vows. Sharonda. Today I stand before God, our family and friends, and vow to love you as unconditionally as you've loved me. Today I choose you as my partner for life. You are my best friend and the most selfless person I know. You went from being engaged, then finding out I had cancer, to becoming my full-time nurse all overnight. I wouldn't be here right now if it weren't for you. You willed, me to, you willed me and pushed me to keep going when I thought I couldn't. I promised to be your protector and confidant or just your shoulder to lean on. And I will stand with you through anything that life has to offer. Today we begin our journey of our lifetime together. My love, my sunshine, my protector, my backbone, and most of all, my best friend. Take your time. Take your time. This year has been the hardest year of my life. But I thank God because he brought us Nobody knew, not many. Many nights I cried. You didn't know. I needed to be strong for you because I love you. And I didn't want to lose you. And I did everything I could do to keep you here. And I knew you wanted to give up. I knew you did. You tried to push me away. But I wasn't going anywhere because I love you. You're my best friend. You're my soulmate. You're my protector. You love my son as he was your own. And I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> protector best friend, confidant. That's what love is. That's what marriage is. And you all are the shining example. So with that, do you, Tamika, yeah. take Sharonda as your wife, as your companion, do you promise to share laughter with her in the good times and wipe her tears in the bad? From this day forward, please respond by saying I do. And do you, Shronda? Yes. Take Samika. As your companion and your wife, do you promise to laugh with her during the good times and wipe her tears during the bad from this day forward? Yes. As family and friends, 
you form a community that will surround this couple from this day forward. Each of you, by your presence here this evening, will be called upon to uphold their commitment that they're sharing before us today. Here's my ask, that when they call you, you remind them of this day, that you remind them what they've already done to get past the things that they faced, and then you send them home, and then you remind them to call each other, and with that, you will support this marriage. And if you collectively do, please respond by saying, we do. We do. You all have decided to do a candle ceremony. And it just symbols your bond. And so one candle will identify you as an individual. And as you take that single candle and burn and light the middle candle, it will then burn as your love has for these, the time that you all have been together. Come on. Careful. All right, there you go. You can do it. That's okay. Go on. That's all right. All right. And now that that middle one is burned, take a moment and blow out that individual candle as you all are now united. All right. Can go back to the middle. May I have the rings, please? Thank you. Oh. Thank you. You've chosen to wear rings as a symbol of your promise. People often say that rings are perfect circles with no beginning and no end, but these rings did have a beginning. There was stone formed long ago deep within the earth and metal was liquefied, molten, cooled, and painstakingly polished. And something beautiful came out of such humble beginnings. And through a combination of effort, serendipity, imperfection shaped something extraordinary. And that's the process of making something beautiful and that's what your love is. You've made something beautiful. So protect these rings as you all will protect each other's hearts from this day forward. I'm gonna start with you. Okay. So with this ring, that's okay. With this ring, with this ring, Sharonda, Sharonda, I commit my love to you. I commit my love to you for all time. For all time. Giving you all that I am. Giving you all that I am. And all that I will be. Please accept this as a symbol of my love to you. Please accept this as a symbol of my love to you. You can go on. Up. With this ring. With this ring. Tamika. Tamika. I commit my love to you. I commit my love to you. For all time. For all time. Giving you all that I am. Giving you all that I am. And all that I will be. And all that I will be. Please accept this. Please accept this. As a symbol of my love to you. As a symbol of my love to you. Oh, shit. Where's your son? He's back here. Jaquan. And now we'll have a family prayer. Gracious creator, we thank you for this family. We thank you for these vows. We thank you for the, the words that were shared. We thank you for the intent. Now, God, we come to you right now thanking you for this family. We thank you for this love that will continue to guide this young man. We ask that you bless this family now that they are one. Continue to guide and protect them as they go forward. We thank you, we love you, we honor you, and we bless you. And we seal this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Loved ones, our best wishes go with you. Our best wishes go forward with you from this day. We wish you a fulfilling life, rich of caring and happiness. May you find a gentle and peaceful life that nurtures and comforts you and that reflects upon your honesty and kindness and integrity. There's a wonderful life waiting for you. Live it fully, love its changes and choices, and let life amaze you and bring you great joy. You may now seal your vows with a kiss. Family and friends, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce you to Mrs. and Mrs. Flife. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70 And baby, my heart could still fall out
Kimba, Dakai Dunn. Ring security, Johnny Warren. Hostesses and ushers, Nayla Cooksman, Kevin Brew Jr., Cynthia Jones, and Shakira Jones. Shavonda and Tamika Flight.
back right apart, you take your seat so the couple can have their first dance. It's like someone has stolen away my heart You're a major part of my life And no matter what the storm may bring I'm fine with you And the point of it all I love And the reason for it all, I love you. I love you. Oh, I love. I love. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you.
should tumble and fall Or the mountain should crumble to the sea Just as long as you stand, stand by me. And darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Oh, stand now. Stand by me. Stand by me. ago this wouldn't have been a possibility for me to be a part of weddings but 20 years ago I didn't know Sharonda uh, I grew up in Georgia conservative place I moved here I met Sharonda like 16 and a half years ago she came to work for me and I was a supervisor and I didn't know anything about her as a supervisor you get to judge people about their work ethics uh, their character whether they come to work can they work without minimal supervision or whatever the case may be from day one, Sharonda was about her money. If she came to work, I'd have to worry about her because she came to work. She did what was asked of her. Most times, she would, you know, she would ask me stuff. But she always was about her money, which that's all I had to judge her on. Uh, <laughs> Sharonda came to work for me when I was real strict. She used to call me Joe Clark. Uh, because I had to be real strict, but we worked. I was very strict to right now. I still am still a supervisor at another location. I'm not as strict as at all. I have to admit and confess, I do use our friendship. Those of you who know Sharonda knows if she likes you, she likes you. If she doesn't, she has no problem telling you. That's her. As we say at work, she has no cut card. <laughs> uh, I laugh inside because uh, at work now, I'm laid back. And uh, she'll come in. I know she'll want to curse me out. She'll come in and say, Rich, you need to get on this person. Do, do this, do this, do that. But you know, in management, you have to watch what you say and do. You have to be careful with the words you say. But fortunately, I got a friend right here <laughs> who always has my back. And I use her, as you don't know that, I confess that. I don't do anything because the same person she asked me to jump on, she gets mad, she'll jump on her. And so the problem is solved. I still got a job. The problem is taken care of. <laughs> Sharonda's voice was opinion, that person straightened out. <laughs> I love her to death. We got to be friends over the years, and I love her to death. She introduced me to Tamika, and I fell in love with her right away. Plus, she feeds me all the time, so. <laughs> what else can I say about you? Um, Sharonda and Tamika, as you're going through this life together as one, I want you to know there's going to be some good times and some not so good times. I ask that when those not so good times come and you reflect back to today, what brought you to this point? And from this, forward, uh, this point forward, my toast and my prayers, from this day forward, the only thing people have to judge about you too is the love you have for each other. My toast. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I met Sharonda. She was working in computers building towers, and I was intrigued by it. I 
I said, man, I can't do that. I ain't never had no mathematical mind or that stuff you do. So, but she was like, but you, the job you do look like you can relax and make a whole lot of money. So I said, you need to come do that too then. So I introduced her into what she's doing now. We build a friendship. Let me tell you something. When you down on your face, and you got somebody with a heart like that as a friend, it's gold. It is gold. And I've been on my face. This woman right here as a friend has been more of a strength than my own family has to me. So I wanted to do a little poem. This poem was written for my mother when she retired. The gift of friendship. Friendship is a precious gift that cannot be bought or sold. But its value is far greater than the amount of, of any gold. It can neither see nor hear and in the time of, tr of trouble, it is powerless to cheer. It has no ears to listen, no heart to understand. It cannot bring you comfort or reach you out a helping hand. So when you ask God for a gift, be thankful if he sends not diamonds, pearls, or riches but the love of a real, true friend. Thanks for being my friend, baby. You know what's up. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Two, three. Got all the single ladies, we're ready. Here we go. Here we go. On the count of three, ladies, on the count of three. One, two, three. Ah, it's like. One more time, one more time. We're gonna count it again. Here we go. One, two, three. Right, they're fighting for it. They're fighting for it.